So what I did about 10 days ago is in this colony I put uh, 10 frames of capped brood and bees into the colony uh, to ensure that the colony is completely um, overrun with bees. So we want uh, a really strong colony, something um, that the, the bees uh, think is going to swarm. Um, so you want to start it off with them creating the cells as if they are emergency cells. Uh, and then we put the queen back on and uh, ensure that that colony um, is now finishing the cells as supersedure cells. Don't have smoke along today so the bees will be a little bit upset with me. Put that frame of uh, frame of the graph frame right in the middle of the hive, uh, with a feed frame right beside it. Uh, well, it was a, actually a frame that had uh, both cap root and feed in it, so I put that one right beside it so they had ease of access. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 out of 45, so it's not a bad graph. Actually, I think I only have, uh, there's only 42 on this, these cell bars actually, so that's, uh, that's not a bad graph at all. Well, actually quite a good graft. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly proud of that being, uh, I've only been grafting for a few years. Uh, this time of year, it's actually quite easy though to uh, to get those good grafts, there's lots of nectar out there, lots of pollen, and the bees are ready to go when you when you set them up correctly. So we'll put that uh, that cell bar back in here. And then what we'll do is we'll make this colony queen right. I have an excluder under this box just to keep any rogue uh, virgins from uh, or to dissuade any rogue virgins, vir virgins from uh, making their way into the hive and uh, wreaking havoc on it. So I'll just go and grab that other, uh, the queen that I originally took off. So what I did is, I just took that queen out uh, with a frame of uh, fruit uh, and set her off to the side. Uh, I did it just to give them 24 hours without a queen. Uh, it makes for better acceptance. And now we'll just use that same queen to make this colony queen right. So like I said, I have an excluder underneath. And we'll put that excluder and the box full of bees and cat fruit right up on top of the hive. And that's it for now. Close that hive back up and we'll come back in 10 days and harvest those cells.